from the garage. It ended up raining again and got even more wet and crazy, so I've been hanging out there, had a beer, had some food, watched some football. It was a good, good chill time after I changed out the air filter. So like I said earlier in that vid, I was uh, actually coming up here to the garage to change out the air filter whenever it decided to just fall off on me. And the thing is, you know, like I said, I'm being totally transparent with you guys. I'm not dogging any companies or anything like that. The experience I had with Figure Machine was a good experience. Their filter just happened to not fit my bike. So I had to return that one. And then I got a DK Customs, I forget the model number, but I got a DK Customs air cleaner because it looked like the back bracket would have a, a little bit more play. The reason the figure machine didn't fit my bike was because it had a solid back mounting bracket, which didn't have any wiggle room for the breather bolts here. And so I ended up being able to return that they were actually willing to work with me and create external breather bolts so that I wouldn't have to run it through their backing plate, which is super awesome of them. So it just didn't happen to fit my bike because the jugs are off on this one. So like I said, I ended up going with a DK Customs one and their backing plate fits because the holes in the back of it were a little larger. And even if they weren't, I knew that I could drill them out just a tiny bit, but I didn't even have to do that. So they fit perfect. They were great. I think I just kind of fishtailed in a hurry, bro. This light is taking forever. Anyways, where was I? Uh, I ended up returning the figure machine air cleaner. I bought the DK Customs one. The back bracket fit. And it was, it was doing its job. It was going great. Until what had just happened happened. And you guys saw that. So what did I do? I ended up ordering another air cleaner similar to the figure machine one to see if I could retrofit it to make it work. Uh, but this one I ordered off of, ow, motherfucker, did he just throw a cigarette out his fucking window? Anyways, so yeah, I bought a air cleaner off of eBay. Like I said, similar to the figure machine vision little bit smaller anyways yeah a little bit smaller I'm gonna pull over here to show you guys the bike again this will be my little pullover spot so yeah a little bit smaller and basically I wanted to see because it's it's you know significantly cheaper the figure machine one was like $300 the one I got off of eBay was like 35 bucks and so I thought eh, with the $35 one you know I can kind of hack at it see if I can make it fit and uh, not have to worry about being out 300 if I were to accidentally have destroyed that one. And so I ended up coming up with a solution that, that worked out, which you guys will see right now. Oh yeah, I also put this, uh, this grill on the headlights, so the bike kind of looks like that now. So yeah, this is the new one. It looks like the figure machine one. It's, it even says figure machine, but it's like a Chinese ripoff. Seems to be doing the job though. But the reason I went with this one is because obviously I like the look of the figure machine, but what I didn't like the thing about the DK Customs one after that happened is that it's only held on by one bolt right in the center. You know, this one's held on by three. So even if one falls out, I've still got two. So anyways, the thing I changed about this one is that I didn't, I left the external breathers and the mounting bracket from the DK Customs piece. And then this one is supposed to vent internally. So the blow by is supposed to come out, it goes through the backing plate, through these two little keys, and it goes back into the engine through there. Through there, motherfuckers. So what I did is basically I bought a couple of half inch bolts. They really filled up that piece. I put the keys in there. I got washers for both sides and I clamped it down so no air is getting sucked in through those. I put some thread locker. I put thread locker here. I put thread locker on these. I put thread locker on the, pe the bolts that go into the throttle body. So that shouldn't be coming off. So that's the latest. Well, that's it. And the cool thing about this is that you can see inside of there, the throttle body opens when you drive it. So that's the latest. 
All right, motherfuckers, let's get home before Mrs. Blackhead and do some laundry. So anyways, after all that trials and tribulations of earlier, with uh, like the rain and the traffic and that other one falling off, you know, I can't really, I can't believe it fell off. You know, like the, the bolt was like that 44 Magnum bolt, which is pretty cool. But, you know, I put Loctite on it, I torqued it down pretty snug and still managed to work its way out. It's kind of crazy. I don't know. It seems like a design flaw. I sent DK Customs an email. We'll see if they work with me or not. I'm just about due for some gasolina. Ugh, this backpack is getting uncomfortable. So in the rain earlier as well, my visor was getting all super, super wet. And I, uh, I ended up wiping it with my glove. And after it dried, like Jesus Christ, I don't know what is on my gloves, but I could not get whatever grime was on the damn visor off. I seriously had to scrub it for a good 10 minutes. I was using like some, some cleaner with like a lemon in it to see if it would like cut through it. I don't know what it was, but apparently I need to wash my gloves because they got some grime stuff in them. Woo, it's getting kind of chilly. I'm a fan of the Subaru BRZs, man. Those are cool little cars. My buddy has one. They zip around pretty quick. I will say I'm not a huge fan of the interiors, though. I mean, they're a little cramped up, a little small. But I've seen some pretty sick ones all modded out. Man, it's getting dark like super early. I want to say it's like 7 o'clock. What time is it? Yeah, 7.09. Oh, fuck. Fuck this bag. Shit sucks. Oh, shit, right? Yeah. Fuck. So, yeah, like that's been my whole experience with air cleaners. I would have been happy with that first one, but it just didn't fit. And I would have been happy with the second one too, but it fell off in the middle of traffic. Hopefully the saying, third time's a charm, definitely applies to this, because I'm about tired of trying out different air cleaners. I'm about tired of having to drive to the damn garage to try out different air cleaners. It's getting a little ridiculous, bro. What's happening here? It's a green light. Go, Johnny, go. Anyways, I'll keep you guys posted on the response and all that. God, fucking something in my eye. <laughs> Man, what are they doing over there? Did you see that? You guys see that shit? I'm gonna have to zoom the video in on that. Uh, dude looked like he was laid back on the hood of his car, getting a little something, 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 something. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's a little something, something, something. Oh my god, goosebumps. Oh my god, the skirt. It is very pretty. It's like the opening and all of the darkness. And all of the fogginess that is my visor. God, how long have I been talking about a pen lock? I need to get a fucking pen lock already. One of these days, when I get that shit, I'm gonna make a video dedicated to straight pen lock and how amazing it is. I've heard good things. But no, I'd rather take my $30 and put it towards a filter or a headlight grill. Damn, that light's turning yellow already. What's with lights turning really fast lately? It's really strange. I know that like, Emergency services has control over some lights, but that one's in front of a Walmart, so Walmart emergency services? I gotta make a Walmart neighborhood market run, guys. Quick, change all the lights so I can get there faster. Well, the work week starts back again tomorrow. Once again, I'm thinking of Chappelle show and Tyrone Bigham saying, y'all got any more of that weekend? Because damn it, I need it. Although I do have a long weekend coming up here pretty soon. We're going down to the Florida Keys and it's gonna be awesome. Hopefully it's awesome. Celebrating Miss Blackhead's birthday. If you guys have any good ideas for uh, birthday gifts for a fiance, drop them down below. I'm always open for, uh, for advice. I'm down for some good ideas. I got a couple like really special meaning ones picked out. If I told you guys, you'd probably, you'd either go like, oh, or you go gay. But come on, man. She's my lady. She my woman. I gotta be all romantic with her and she, cause she worth it. She more than worth it. All right, I'll tell you guys what I got her, or what I'm getting her. 
guiding her. Who is honking? So, two things. One of the things I'm making for her, it's called a date jar. And basically what you do is you take a mason jar and then you don't get rear-ended by an Acura. Thanks, Acura, I appreciate you stopping. Anyways, you take a mason jar, and I'll put some instructions on the screen here, and you put a little like bow around it. You get what they call a chalkboard sticker, and you put that sticker on the mason jar. On that sticker, you write date nights, or date night, or something along those lines. Then, you take either regular popsicle sticks or colored popsicle sticks, without the popsicles on them. Unless you want to eat like 52 popsicles, then that's fine. And then you take said popsicle sticks and you write 52 different date ideas on those popsicle sticks. Now I think usually like in a set there's, I don't know how many you can buy them at like Michael's Craft Store, like uh, the Dollar, Dollar Store, shit like that. What is happening here? He's going kind of slow. It's weird. Oh, they're both cops. Undercovers. So yeah, you take those and you write 52 different, or a bunch of however many popsicle sticks you have. You take that many popsicle sticks and you write a bunch of different date ideas on them. And you can color code them. I've seen them where people have color coded them. So like green will be like, it's something you gotta spend a some decent amount of money on. You know, a different color will be like something that you stay home and do. You know, like have a game night or make some homemade pizza or like watch a trilogy of movies. I don't know if you guys, if any of y'all are in relationships, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep it fresh, man. You gotta keep it fresh. Hopefully it'll be a little cute little gift that she enjoys. And another thing that I'm doing that's a little more, a little more personal is giving her a book and she loves cats. And so I'm giving her a book that's basically, it's a cat notebook. But in that notebook, I'm gonna write, I think I've got like 50 to 60 reasons so far why there are 50, 50 to 60 things she should know slash reasons why I love her. It's more, like I said, a little more personal, a little more sentimental, and, uh, you know, I'll decorate it all up. Don't fucking pull out in front of me, guys, please. Thank you. So hopefully she reacts well to those, and I'll wrap them up and give them to her on her birthday. But hey, if you guys got any uh, good date night ideas, you know, let me know. Drop those in the description below, too. And if you got any good gift ideas, I mean, who knows? Maybe I want to give her a gift not on her birthday. Actually, Christmas is coming up soon, so hey, drop some gift ideas down below in the description or in the comments anyways. Comment, especially if you're a girl, comment what the best gift you have ever gotten is. Non-motorcycle related, obviously. She uh, doesn't ride. Maybe one day, but currently not. So yeah, comment below. Hell, even if you're a guy, comment below, what's the best gift that you've ever gotten? And it can't be like your Xbox, because that doesn't count. Everybody knows that's an amazing, awesome gift, so. Fuck these lights, fuck these motherfucking red lights. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that one up there. Oh, this backpack is killing my back. This thing sucks, at least it's not like hot as hell out. It is a little moist because of the rain. You guys like that word? Moist. People hate that word. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but whatever. Yo, is that a bat? That is a fucking huge bat if it is. Is that a duck? Quack. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up there, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate the support. Go ahead and hit that like button down there if you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Till next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. And I will see y'all next time. Deuces.